Hi, last time I told you to leave your deep questions and thoughts in my subreddit and there I can sort them easily by the number of votes and go through them and answer them for you. But before we get into it, there is a quick note. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and helping share knowledge. More about them later in the video. That was the note. Anyway, this is a brand new type of show that's never been tried before where I will review your submissions in Reddit. Hmm, I wonder what I should call this show. Last time I told you, Latiti. Sounds French. How about Latiti? Yeah, sounds good. Roll the intro. Okay, boomers, if you have questions with quality, post it on our subreddit. No matter your entity, I may or may not check it in the next episode of Latiti. Anyway, go ahead and slap. I keep saying slap like, but I think the copyright of slap like is taken by Davy504. I should come up with my own. How about I say Bezan Laiko? It's a mixture of Farsi and English, like Finglish. Bezan means hit, like means like. And O is a Farsi thing. So Bezan Laiko. And let's start reviewing your stuff. <laughs> what the hell is this? Mehdi send me interesting things. People meme this out of him. <laughs> I hope you didn't do that. I was looking for your deepest thoughts and questions. Me waiting for a new video. Come on, do something. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not submitting very often, but what can I do? My team is already busy with all the complicated videos I'm trying to make. You know what? Get me to 4 million subscribers quickly and I'll reveal to you my entire team that's working on my videos. What is this one? Hmm. With yeah... <laughs> oh, with yeah? I have blown up a hotel in London before. U.S. government know your location, hello? <laughs> there is only one problem. What the hell? <laughs> Why is that screw in the wall has a live voltage on it? Oh, I know, I've done this before. Once I was trying to install some cabinets on the wall, I used the drill to drill into the concrete and then <laughs> there was an explosion right in my face. I drilled right into the conduit. How the hell am I supposed to know where they ran the wire in the wall? Well, actually one good way is to use these live wire detection devices that when you bring it to close to live wire, it starts beeping. You can run these over the wall and if there is a live wire too close to the surface, this will beep and you'll know. And you wouldn't accidentally drill into it. Me during quarantine. <laughs> I look cute. Finally inner peace. When that loud kid finally trips and breaks his spine. <laughs> good. Come on, that's cruel. Yeah, this is big brain time. Therapist. Big brain med he. It is spelled M E H D I, okay? Why does everyone spell it like that? Big brain medi isn't real. He can't hurt you. Big brain medi. Ah! Is there anything that's not a meme? Every episode be like. So, how high was this voltage you just received, medi? Yes. <laughs> Hi, medi. Can you explain this thing I found on Telegram? Hey, finally a question. Why AC current passes through capacitor? What is this? Only 9 up volts? Whatever. Let's take a look. I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. What is he doing? Opening a power outlet. Well, tell me he's not going to plug his phone into live wires. Two coils and the prongs and now he's hot gluing it on a magnet. Another piece of coil. Oh, just saw the title. This is supposed to give him free internet. Working 100%. Why people do this? Stop making fake videos. These videos get so many views for no reason. I hope their channels explode. Maybe review memes from the subreddit. It would be fun. Could Maddie do this? Let's see. Yeah, I've seen this before. I think they somehow trap a huge amount of electricity in some sort of acrylic or something. Hmm. Might be fun to try to make it. Okay, I'll add it to my list. Help! I want to make a blinker circuit. I have an 2N2222 transistor. So I'm set with, with what that, but every video I saw on YouTube, my LED just stays on and never flashes. Fine, I'll just search it for you. Blinker fluid? No, blinker circuit. There, this is exactly the circuit you want. It's called a, what was it called again? A bistable resonator, if I'm not wrong. Mehdi? Hey, they spelled my name right. Do you have any hamsters? 
What's this? Hamster charging a phone? <laughs> well, I think it's fake. The reason I say that is that a cell phone requires around two and a half to five watts of power to charge. And that creates a large resistance for that thing to turn. So this little guy would have a hard time turning that thing. But seeing that thing is turning freely almost, it seems fake. It is fake. What an arc. The guy is cutting the power line interestingly enough when it's still live. Why would he do that? Look at his face. Oh man. That look on his face though. What's wrong with the look on my face? It's just a look of joy. Someone had to do this. <laughs> oh, thanks for the hug. Electro boom as Poland ball. What is that? Poland ball. Hey, that's an Iranian ball. <laughs> what is it? Hey, that's my homemade taser. Wow, this is wild. <laughs> you can see how far <laughs> the tip of the gun here simulates a human finger. <laughs> I like his cute Always face. <laughs> hey, that was funny. Thanks for making it, Mr. Kaliningrad General. I remember there's a specific flavor you can add to your posts like Faf Rectify and probably if I click on that everything related to that will pop up. Let's do that. Unfortunately, I can't sort them based on number of votes so I have to just browse through them and find the best ones. Found these spark plugs absorbing magnetic fields. The hell is this? Spark plug free energy generator. Spark plug free energy generator with homemade free energy generator using spark plug activity. New electric, electric 2019 free energy generator 100% running with spark plug. Free energy generator using spark plug. Make electric free energy using magnet with spark plug science for 2019. New for 2019 free energy generator using spark plug. What's up with spark plugs? They used to put some effort into making these fake videos so they actually looked a little bit more plausible than this. Spark plug is just two conductors close to each other that if the voltage is high enough an arc jumps between them. All it does is that it converts most of the energy in heat. That's why they use it in cars to ignite the fuel. How's that supposed to generate any kind of energy by moving a magnet around it or whatever? These free energy people are just getting lazy just putting sh together expecting it to work and people are expected to believe it. And the sad part is there's a whole lot of people that believe it. Here's another free energy one. See, this guy has put some good effort into making a fake device. It looks clean, it has magnets and coils. It has a magnet pushing another magnet and a motor that generates power. At least if you're making fake sh learn from this guy. Put some more effort to make it more believable. What is spark gap doesn't do anything? And don't make fake videos. It's not nice to lure people. Homemade free energy radio receiver. How the hell is this possible? It needs to be rectified. Please, it's puzzling my mind. Uh, that's from the team that's really well, actually, this is not free energy. It's funny. Like 30 years ago, my grandfather told me how to make this thing. It's old technology. It is basically an AM receiver that absorbs the very weak AM transmission radio frequencies and makes it into very weak audio signals you can hear from a crystal earphone. It's an interesting project, you can actually try to make it yourself. Okay, what is this? Rectify this, everyone. This is a serious case. We, if this is true, we can program our light as a Wi-Fi and literally make our phone catch signal with it. Well, right off the bat, the thumbnail is fake. It says 150 gigabit per second between that stupid LED and the solar cell. That's clickbait. The circuit at best can do a few kilohertz, but Let's look at the project and see if it works. So he has a solar cell, connects it to some amplifier circuit and a speaker, and then the whole thing runs on some DC, and this setup acts as a receiver. And then on the transmitter side, he has some LEDs, connects them to some audio jack wires, and then some nine volt batteries series with it. So I assume the battery turns on the LEDs and the audio signal voltage modulates the light output. Plugs the audio jack in, plays some music, and the music is transferred from the LEDs to the solar cell and plays on the speaker. Now this is plausible, but there are some things in the video that make it a little bit fake. Like for example, how the audio level is not affected by the distance of the LEDs and the solar cell. The further it is, the light signals must be smaller and so the audio output should drop, but it doesn't. And the other one is this. See when he puts his hand in, the speaker goes all the way down and all the way up. 
which doesn't mean the speaker wouldn't play, just that it means there is a big DC voltage across the speaker that's affected by the light input. So it's not fake, but it wouldn't run on 150 gigabit per second. Something I can try and make actually. Well, he used two LEDs, but I'm gonna use one LED. I think it's enough for the proof of concept. And I'm gonna put a resistor series with it to limit the current going into my phone audio jack. I don't wanna blow my phone. So here's the transmitter, power supply, audio jack, LED and resistor all in series. And here's my solar panel connected to my scope. Of course, it generates massive DC voltage and the AC could be very small compared to it. So we have to get rid of DC first. There you go, and there's also a large AC voltage outputting from the solar cell which is from the lights in the room which means we will have to turn off our lights or we will hear a massive humming noise on our audio something they were not hearing in their video anyway here is my LED and I hold my solar panel in front of it and play something on my phone and see if we see anything on the scope hey look at that it's the audio signals the solar cell is actually picking it <laughs> okay, let's see if we can play it or record it. Okay, I'm gonna use my audio amplifier I made in my other video and plug my solar panel to it to amplify and feed the output to my camera to record. And you shall not be a dummy! <laughs> Yeah, so it definitely works, although you need a much better circuit and the ambient light greatly affects the output and the distance between the LED and solar panel greatly affects the audio level, something I didn't see in that video. Okay, next one. Can you please rectify this video so you can shut up my mom? <laughs> who doesn't know a thing about electromagnetism and won't shut up about how 5G is bad for us. Well, my last video was about 5G, show that to your mom. Title translates to, if mobile networks are safe, then how are they making the popcorn pop? <laughs> I have seen these videos before, let's look at them. Can you believe, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So they put a bunch of popcorn kernels on the table, put their phones around it, and everyone calls those phones. So in theory, the energy from all the transmissions from the cell phones is high enough to pop the popcorns. There you go. <laughs> The popcorns oh, pop! So, so much energy, eh? I told you. No way! Yes. Yes. Well, it's definitely fake. Don't you think if the energy was high enough to pop a popcorn, you wouldn't feel it in your brain when you are calling someone? This is definitely some video editing stuff. A job for Captain Disillusion. But let's search and see if we can find out how they did it. How to popcorn with cell phone. <laughs> Set the scene on popped kernels, cell phones of various makes and models, giggling teenagers. <laughs> That's an essential component. Air pop a few popcorn kernels on your stove while filming. Drop the popped kernels onto the table from above. Digitally erase the unpopped kernels from the footage and add sound effects. That's how you do it. What is this one? Rectify this. Okay, this is my Homemade oh my God. maximum voltage <laughs> ionizer. Don't tell me Let's he actually drilled a hole into the side of his microwave oven. Basically. So he actually drilled a hole on the side of his microwave oven and all the radiations that are supposed to stay inside are shooting out of his horn antenna. You realize how dangerous that is? It could burn the shit out of you easily. Let's see what happens. Let's Start. turn it on. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, the energy coming out of the microwave is actually lighting a fluorescent light bulb all the way back there. So dangerous! Do you hear those buzzings on the video? It's all the radio waves hitting his camera, making noise on the audio and hitting his own body too, so he could be getting warm not knowing it. And he put the light right against the metal fridge, which means all the waves are reflecting from it into the room and it's quite dangerous, don't do it! I should find a way to do it safely later. Hmm. Well, I think that's good enough for one day. Thanks a lot for your submissions. I think we learned a few things here and there. Well, if you still like me to review your stuff, as an like all, and submit better stuff, meme or science, so we can learn more. And if you really want to learn something, go to my sponsor, Skillshare. It's the best place for the dedicated professionals who want to teach and those who want to learn to come together and make the world a smarter and skilled place. And the first thousand people to use my link in description will get two months of free premium membership trial. Tons of time to take many great classes. 
Do it! You creative? You curious? Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for you. You will find what you like from classes like electronics, software, graphic design, arts, crafts, video making and tons more. Classes include a combination of video lessons and class projects. I always tell people the best way to learn is to do projects. There are no ads or interruptions. You'll just learn at your own convenience and learn what matters to you. You have noticed my video editing skills are on the rise. Thank you. There are tons of Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects classes like the one by Jordi Vandeput that'll get you going. He starts very easy and goes into great details step by step. So join now. And as always, thanks for watching.